Hey folks, gonna shoot a quick mail video. Uh, picked up a couple packages of things that I had ordered a while back and uh, wanted to show them. Do want to clear up a little confusion from the last video. I did not even realize I was talking about two different Dave, Davids. And uh, yeah, so I think some of the comments I got I suspect a few people didn't realize that, that it was two different Davids. So, <clears throat> yeah. So, the first one is David Stinson. That was my shout-out. And uh, I'll shout him out again. <laughs> We're going to try to build up his uh, sub count. Uh, he is a new YouTuber. And um, a couple of folks have already gone over there and given him a sub. And... Uh, I appreciate that, and uh, so let's let's keep it up and build them up a little bit, and uh, so that's David Stinson, and then of course uh, my buddy David Dampier is the one who gave me the VCLT in the uh, last mail video, but uh, and of course I appreciate David so much. He and I have been friends since college, and uh, yeah, so there's not much more to say than that about it. Let's uh, jump in here and um, take a look at what I got in the mail. All right. So, there's a lot of different types of music here. It's all gospel, though. It's all Christian music. But very, very different stylistically. Uh, so, I bought a lot. Well, it wasn't really a lot. It was, they had a deal on eBay several weeks back or this buyer does and I could get a free one if I bought four well I found five and it still was a great deal I didn't pay more than a couple bucks a piece for any of these albums uh, and uh, but there were, I boy I'm saying all this to say there was one artist in particular I was looking at but then I found a couple other albums to go with it all right, so before I get to the artist I was looking for, let's show you the other stuff. And we'll start with this. This is the best of Bernard Johnson. He is a gospel saxophone player. This is a double LP. I went ahead and picked it up because I got it for like less than three bucks. And I saw somebody else selling it for close to 30 And I thought, well, I better jump on this. It's a two-record set from Savoy. I don't know much about Bernard Johnson, but I did uh, listen to a little bit on YouTube and liked what I heard. Uh, it's a gatefold. And... Uh, in it, there's a, some, uh, there's a few, um, what, do you, what would you call it, endorsements. One of them is Evangelist Billy Graham. He said, I'm thankful to the Lord for the gift he has given to Bernard Johnson and his willingness to minister in music with a saxophone. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know, I don't really... I don't really uh, care much for any televangelist, but I, Billy Graham was different. And, uh, yeah, so if, if he got an endorsement from Billy Graham, that says a lot to me. But I want to see the hands of those who can say that you know, that you know, that you show enough, no show enough, that you know, show enough. That it was not your automobile that brought you here, but it was God's grace that brought you here. Amazing grace.
So that's Bernard Johnson. Next, Steve Camp. Couldn't pass this up. Shake me to wake me. It's kind of a uh, Christian rock. He's a keyboardist. And this was the 80s. So, yeah, the keyboards are are prominent in here, but so are the guitars. This is the album that I just... He was on touring on this album when I heard him the first time. On Sparrow Records. Let's see. I thought I saw an insert in here. Tell me who played on this. I got... I suspect I know... I know who some of the guys are. Um, it is there is an insert. It's got lyrics, and I was looking for he wrote he wrote a lot of this album with Rob Fraser, who I enjoy as well. All right, so here we go. Yeah, the band Alan Pasqua on keys. Dan Huff on guitar. I know Dan was in Giant. I think Alan might have played some keys for him. Um, Michael Landau on guitar. Neil Steubenhaus bass. Paul Eam on drums. Uh, trying to see if there's any other notable... Um, I don't see anything else, but still. Dan Huff on guitars. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, it's great rock album, and one I was glad. You know, I've got a number of Steve's uh, albums, so I was glad to pick this one up. Shake me to wake me. It was Sparrow Records. What year? And then I didn't look at the insert to see what the year was. It's mid eighties. All right. The artist I was trying to pick up, I found three of her albums. It's They don't really have copyright dates, so I'm not sure when they were put out. Uh, they all look like she put them out. Um, anyway, so early 80s, I was going to church at Gethsemane Baptist Church in Danville, Kentucky. Um, Brother Hall had a favorite uh, singer, gospel singer he liked to bring in for revival. Her name, Lois Jane. This is the album I have returned. Um, don't see a date anywhere on it. There she is on the back. I'm thinking this was a, a bit before I knew her. There's a, you know, kind of a center ring that looks like was designed for her, but not really an official label or anything. Lois Jane, I have returned. Then Lois Jane, what's the name of this one? Maybe it's self-titled, Lois Jane. Again, no date. I'm thinking this came out before, again, before I met her. Kind of a plain back. It was autographed to somebody, to Jim and Nell. And the label's pretty much the same, except, uh, well, no, it's a little fancier. Purple. This is the album that I remember. That would have been early 80s. Early to mid 80s. Lois Jane. We've weathered storms before. I think I had this back on cassette back in the day. Um, my uh, I noticed a couple of people from my church... Mike Osborne, Bob McDaniel, uh, were in the choir for one of the songs. Uh, Mike Osborne was my uh, music and youth minister back then. And uh, so, very cool to have picked this up.
So I'll be looking for more lowest gain as I can find it. That was that package. Next up, this is the big album for this video. I have the uh, CD. I should have pulled the CD, but I didn't. But that's okay. It's Zion, Thunder from the Mountain 2.0. If you watch Jeff McCormick's channel, you probably have already seen this. First of all, I love the redesign on the cover. Love the cape fold. That is awesome. And it's on red and yellow vinyl with the custom centering. Very, very excited to have this. This I chased this on CD a year or two ago until I finally found a copy at a decent price, and now I've, they uh, reissued it, and I uh, got the uh, the vinyl.
All right, and I've got one more to show. Um, it's a CD. I ordered this probably early last month. Been listening to it a lot. It's a collection. It's a various artist, uh, Fanny Crosby and Friends. It was love. Now, if you, <laughs> this won't surprise anybody, but I mainly got it because Russ Taff sang two of the tracks on here. That's um, Spring of Comfort on side one. Well, on side one. Thinking, thinking vinyl here. Uh, Spring of Comfort, and then right toward the end, uh, Draw Near to God, which he does with Lee Nash of Sixpence, None the Richer. Um, I love both songs. I think Draw Near to God is the one that has, you know, I've been kind of going through a rough time, and uh, yeah, that, that song has, has really been helping me out. <laughs> And he killed it. So, great hymn writer, Fanny Crosby. So, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of a funny thing to call it Fanny Crosby and Friends. Love this quote. She was blind. If I had a choice, I would still choose to remain blind. Uh, for when I die the first face I will ever see will be the face of my blessed Savior good stuff and there are some other I mean Guy Penrod sings on here Nicole Mullen uh, Blind Boys of Alabama Fred Hammond the Martins a lot of good people on this CD uh, Fanny Cross being friends so anyway that's it for this video and uh we'll see you soon